Do you want to build a bulletproof portfolio that can withstand market turbulence and still provide steady returns? Well, folks, that's exactly what we're here to discuss today. A bulletproof portfolio isn't just a buzzword, it's a financial strategy, a shield against market volatility that aims to keep your investments safe and sound. This portfolio is designed to weather the storm, come rain or shine, bull market or bear. It's about balancing the scales of risk and reward, ensuring that your hard-earned money continues to grow, even when the economic climate is less than favorable. Now, this isn't some magic trick or a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a methodical process, built on sound financial principles and a keen understanding of the market. And we're gonna break down this process, step by step, to help you build your very own bulletproof portfolio. So, if you're ready to take control of your financial future, let's dive into the first step of building a bulletproof portfolio. The first step to building a bulletproof portfolio is understanding your own risk tolerance. Now you might be asking, what's risk tolerance? Well, simply put, risk tolerance refers to the degree of variability in investment returns that you, as an investor, are willing to withstand. Think of it as your financial comfort zone. Are you the kind of person who can sleep at night knowing your investments might fluctuate wildly? Or do you prefer more stable, predictable returns, even if that means potentially lower gains? Risk tolerance is a crucial concept in investing. It's like a compass guiding your investment decisions. Without knowing how much risk you can tolerate, you might find yourself in financial waters that are too hot or too cold for your liking. You see, high-risk investments can yield high returns but they can also result in significant losses. On the other hand, low-risk investments are more stable, but they typically offer lower returns. To understand your risk tolerance, you need to consider various factors. Your financial goals are one. Are you saving for a down payment on a house in the next few years, or are you investing for retirement decades down the line? Your time horizon plays a role too. The more time you have before you need your investment back, the more risk you can afford to take on. Your financial situation and your emotional capacity for risk are also important. Can you afford to lose some of your investment, or does every penny count? And how does the thought of losing money make you feel? Do you get anxious, or are you unfazed? Remember, there's no right or wrong level of risk tolerance. It's a deeply personal matter. What's important is that you understand your own risk tolerance, and that you make investment decisions that align with it. This way, you're not just investing wisely, but you're also investing in a way that you can be comfortable with. Once you have a clear understanding of your risk tolerance, you can move on to the next step, asset allocation. With a clear understanding of your risk tolerance, you can now focus on asset allocation. So what exactly is asset allocation? Well, in simple terms, it's the strategy of dividing your investment portfolio among various asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, and cash. But it's not just about spreading your investments around, it's about spreading them in a way that aligns with your financial goals and risk tolerance. Why is it important? Picture this, you're on a road trip. You wouldn't pack your car with just snacks and forget the spare tire, would you? Similarly, in investing, you wouldn't want to put all your eggs in one basket, because if that basket drops, well, you can imagine the mess. Asset allocation helps you spread the risk. It's a safety net that catches you when one asset class underperforms. You see, different types of assets don't usually move up and down at the same time. When stocks are doing well, bonds might not be, and vice versa. This ebb and flow can help smooth out the bumps on your investment journey, minimizing risk while maximizing potential returns. Now let's talk about the types of assets. Stocks or equities represent ownership in a company. They have historically offered high potential returns, but also come with higher risk. Bonds, on the other hand, are like a loan you give to a company or government. They typically offer lower returns than stocks, but with less risk. Lastly, cash and cash equivalents, like savings accounts or money market funds, offer the least risk, but also the lowest returns. Here's where it gets interesting. By combining these assets in different proportions, you can create a diversified portfolio that matches your risk tolerance and financial goals. For example, a young investor with a high risk tolerance might have a portfolio heavily weighted towards stocks, while a retiree might prefer a portfolio with more bonds and cash. Once you've determined your asset allocation, it's time to select specific investments. Now that you've learned about risk tolerance and asset allocation, why not take the first step towards building your bulletproof portfolio? It all begins with a plan. Start by mapping out your asset allocation based on your risk tolerance. Remember, 
A higher risk tolerance might mean a portfolio heavy on stocks, while a lower risk tolerance might lean more towards bonds and cash. But it's not just about risk. It's about aligning your investments with your financial goals. Whether you're saving for retirement, a new home, or your child's education, your asset allocation is the roadmap that can help you get there. So don't wait for the perfect moment. Start your investment journey today. In our next segment, we'll delve into the specifics of selecting investments for your portfolio. Stay tuned. Now that you have your asset allocation in place, it's time to select specific investments. The process of selecting investments can seem like a daunting task, especially with the sheer number of options available. However, the key to making an informed decision is research and due diligence. It's crucial to understand the potential risks and rewards of each investment and how they align with your financial goals. One important concept to understand is diversification. This involves spreading your investments across different types of assets to reduce risk. A well-diversified portfolio may include a mix of exchange-traded funds or ETFs, mutual funds, and individual stocks and bonds. ETFs are a type of security that tracks an index, sector, commodity, or other asset. They can be bought and sold just like individual stocks on a stock exchange. ETFs offer an easy and cost-effective way to diversify your portfolio, especially if you're just starting out. On the other hand, Mutual funds pool money from multiple investors to purchase a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other securities. They are managed by professional fund managers who make investment decisions on behalf of the fund's shareholders. Mutual funds can be a good option if you prefer a hands-off approach to investing. Lastly, individual stocks and bonds can make up a portion of your portfolio. When you buy a company's stock, you're buying a piece of that company. Bonds, on the other hand, are like loans you make to a company or government in exchange for periodic interest payments and the return of the principal amount when the bond matures. Remember, each type of investment comes with its own set of risks and potential rewards. It's important to thoroughly research each investment and consider how it fits into your overall portfolio. With your investment selected, you can move on to the final step, regular portfolio review. The final step in building a bulletproof portfolio is regular portfolio review. Now you might be thinking, I've done all this work creating my portfolio, why would I need to review it? Well, let me tell you folks, just like a well-tuned engine, a portfolio needs regular checkups. The world of investing is ever-changing with market conditions that ebb and flow like the tide. One day you might be riding high on a wave of profit and the next you could be in choppy waters. This is why regular portfolio reviews are essential. Think of it like this. You wouldn't set off on a road trip without checking your car, would you? Making sure the oil's topped up, the tires are in good shape, and there's enough gas in the tank? It's the same with your portfolio. Regular reviews ensure that your investments are still in line with your financial goals and risk tolerance. But here's the kicker, folks. Your life isn't static. Personal circumstances can change. Maybe you've had a baby, bought a house, or perhaps you're inching closer to retirement. These life stages can significantly impact your financial goals and risk tolerance. That's why it's crucial to adjust your portfolio accordingly. Now let's talk about the concept of rebalancing. Rebalancing is like the fine tuning of your portfolio. It's the process of realigning the weights of your portfolio's assets. It involves periodically buying or selling assets in a portfolio to maintain an original or desired level of asset allocation or risk. So you see, a regular portfolio review is not just about checking up on your investments. It's about making sure your portfolio continues to serve your financial goals, adjusting your sales to the winds of change, and staying the course towards your financial destination. And there you have it, the steps to building a bulletproof portfolio. Remember, investing is a journey, not a destination. So there you have it. These are the steps to building a bulletproof portfolio. We navigated the path of understanding your risk tolerance, recognizing that it's not just about the potential for high returns, but also about how much uncertainty you can comfortably handle. We explored the concept of asset allocation, emphasizing the importance of diversifying your investments across different asset classes to mitigate risk. Then we dived into the process of selecting investments, underlining the need for careful research and consideration. And finally, we stressed the need for regular portfolio review, reminding you that a successful portfolio is not a set it and forget it endeavor, but requires consistent attention and adjustment. If you found this video helpful, Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more investing tips and advice. Remember, 
The key to a successful investment journey is taking that first step. So start building your bulletproof portfolio today.